This is Math 141, section 4.5. We're going to solve exponential and logarithmic equations. So let's go ahead and start with some pretty, pretty straightforward ones. Uh, before we do, though, I want to remind you that we should be able to write and rewrite uh, log statements as exponential statements and exponential statements as log statements. Here's what I mean. If I have something that says uh, 5 squared equals 25, that's an exponential statement, right? It, it's, relation, it's expressing a relationship between 2, 5, and 25 using an exponent. Um, and that statement says the same as log base 5 of 25 equals 2. And that's set as a log statement. And, and what, I'm, what I mean by it says the same is, it, it, is I mean it talks about the same relationship between the numbers 5, 2, and 25. Right here's here's it's expressed exponentially, here's it's it's expressed logarithmically. Being able to go back and forth between these two statements is something written like this, write it like this. If something's written like that, write it like that, um, is a great skill to hold on to while you're trying to solve both uh, equations that have both exponents and logarithms in them. So let's start with a couple of reasonably straightforward ones. Six to the x is three hundred and 57. So 6 to what power would give us that? Well, if I'm not sure, I'm going to rewrite it as a log statement. It's an exponential statement. So I could rewrite this as uh, log base 6 of 357 is equal to x. And now I know how to evaluate that. I can use the change of base formula that we talked about in 4.4. In log of, of 357 divided by log of 6 and I can do that on my calculator. And remember, I could use log base 10. I could use natural log 2. I, I'll get the same answer. They, they both scale those numbers. Uh, so 357 and 6. So log uh, 357, close the parentheses, divided by log 6, b up a do, is about 3.280. And if I wasn't sure of my answer, I can always just plug it back in. Like 6 to that power should be about 357. I'll go back to my calculator. 6 to the power of, and I could just say answer right here, right? Because I have the answer. 6 to the power of the answer is 357. Yeah, that, that works. So here's another one. 2 to the power of x plus 7 is equal to 19. All right, same idea. Um, I'm going to rewrite it. I have an exponent. I can't really simplify it from here or anything. So I'm going to think of it as a log statement. Log base 2 of 19 is x plus 7. Now this log of uh, log base 2 of 19, that's just a number. And I know I can evaluate on my calculator using the change of base formula. right? So if I were to, uh, on my calculator, go natural log of 19 divided by natural log of 2, that's just a number. I could do it now, but I like to do everything kind of at the end. Uh, now I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. So this natural log of 19 divided by natural log of 2 minus 7 will be x. All right, let me grab my calculator. Uh, natural log of 19 divided by natural log of 2. And then I'm going to do this. Oops, natural log of 2. Again, I, I close off the parentheses both times. And then I subtract 7 from it. And I get this value, this negative 2.752. And uh, let's see, I think my original, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something here. I'm going to store this in x. I'm going to make this equal x in my calculator. So I can use this stow button. x. And if you notice on the screen, it's, it's saying put the answer into x. So now x is that value. And I did that because my original equation was 2 to the power of um, x plus 7. And now I can just check it pretty easily this way. It should be 19. It's 19. Yep, I am. I'm good with my answer there. So that means x is about, and I had to round it, uh, negative 2.752. Here's an exact answer. Here's an approximate answer, right? Because I did some rounding. Uh, 3 to the x plus 2 equals 7. That's kind of the same problem, isn't it? I rewrite it. Log base 3 of 7 is x plus 2. I know that this is just a number I could evaluate on my calculator. Log 7 divided by log 3. And I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. 
There's my exact answer. And now if I grab my calculator, log seven divided by log uh, three, and then minus two. Again, notice I closed off the parentheses in both those spots. And I get about negative 0.2288. I'm going to round that up. 2288. And again, if I wasn't sure about my answer, plug it back into my calculator, and then I can give it, give it a check. Okay, e to the power of 2x minus 1 equals 1,000. Well, a couple ways I could think about this. Um, e and natural log undo each other log base e. So if I was going to rewrite this, the thing that undoes e is natural log. So natural log of a thousand will equal 2x minus 1. Right? Natural log is log base e. And I have a natural log button. So that's cool. I can just do that on my calculator. Uh, to solve this, I'm going to add 1 to both sides, I'm trying to get x all alone. Sometimes will people will write the plus one out front, so it's just clear that it's not in, included inside the natural log. And as you can see, I'm sure, divide by two, divide the whole thing by two. And so x is going to be one plus the natural log of a thousand over two. So I can take that and put it in my calculator. And I always like to put stuff in my calculator in like one, kind of one entry. So I'm going to go um, parentheses. 1 plus natural log of 1,000. Close off the parentheses for the natural log. Close off the parentheses for the uh, numerator. And then it's divided by 2. So I get about this, this about 3.95, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to check my answer real quick. Um, it was e to the 2x minus 1. So e to the 2x minus 1. That's a thousand, yeah, yeah. So my answer is about three point nine five four. All right, let's give these three a try. So as I go to solve this, I'm going to strip away all the pieces to try to get x all alone. So first thing, I'm going to divide both sides by seven. And you could do the division right now. I like to just leave it as a fraction if I don't see it right away. So I'm just going to leave this as five thousand over seven. And so now I have 2 to the power of this equals that. So now I'm going to rewrite this as a log base 2 statement. So log base 2 of 5,000 over 7 is equal to 3x plus. So this right here then, this would be the same. I could rewrite it as uh, something like natural log of that value, 5,000 divided by 7, divided by natural log of 2. And then I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So that gives me, I'm going to do it this way, this minus 4. And then with this, this times 3, I could divide the whole thing by 3. Or I could also just multiply the whole thing by 1 third. And that might be a little, little bit prettier there if I do that. And that's what my, my x value should be. So let me uh, give this a try in my calculator. Now you might do like a piece at a time, you know, like evaluate it here, uh, then evaluate this part. That's fine. Um, I just don't like to write things down and round a bunch of times. I like to enter it all at once, just so I don't have compounding, uh, rounding errors. So I have one third multiplied by the natural log of 5,000 uh, divided by 7. Close up those parentheses. Divided by the natural log of 2. Close up those parentheses and then subtract 4. That whole thing's multiplied by a third. So I get this value about 1.826. Uh, 7 actually. Round it up. Let me check. I'm going to store that in x. I like to check my answer and just make sure that I'm right. And uh, my original equation was 7 times 2 to the power of, and that whole exponent's going to be in parentheses so that it's, it's taken to the, that whole thing. 2 is taken to that whole thing. Should be 5,000. Yeah, great. Okay. So, do, do, do. X is about 8 times e to the 2x 
equals 20. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8 first, working to get x all alone. So I'll undo that multiplication. Uh, 20 over 8, uh, that 28, what's that, 5 halves? Yep. Uh, the thing that undoes e is natural log. So 2x is the natural log of 5 halves. Now I have a natural log button, so I don't got, I don't got to do anything fancy there. Uh, divide by 2 is the same as multiply by a half. So 1 half natural log of 5 halves. Let me shove that in my calculator. Uh, 1 half times the natural log of 5 halves. And I get that value. So let me check it. Uh, my original equation was 8 times e to the power of 2x. I forgot to make it equal to x, so I'm just going to go times uh, 4, 5, 8, 1, 4, 5. And it won't equal 20 exactly, but it's really close, right? Because I truncated it. So yeah, so that value is good. The 4, 5, 8, 1, and there's that. So let's get this... Uh, this last one right here, try. That's a negative 8. So it's 5 times that thing. So I'm going to divide both sides by, by 5. And so that leaves me with 2 to the 3x minus 7 equals negative 8 fifths. Now, I'm going to point something out right here. And, and I don't necessarily expect you to see it right away. Uh, but look, I'm saying 2 to some power will give me a negative number. It actually shouldn't be able to happen like 2 to a power uh, to a real number won't give me any any negative answers but let me go ahead and just trudge on with this uh, I'd rewrite this so uh, log base 2 of negative 8 fifths would be 3x minus 7 uh, keep going I could I could rewrite this as natural log of negative 8 fifths over natural log of 2 just to make it calculator friendly for myself um, I would add 7 to both sides and then I would also, um, to get rid of that 3x, multiply both sides by a third, or divide by 3, whatever whatever you got going on. So um, I'm going to go to enter that into my calculator. And I'm, I'm actually going to just, I know it's going to happen. You could try and enter the whole thing. But I'm just going to enter in this part and see what happens. Natural log of negative 8 fifths. Error, non-real answer. Um, so it actually doesn't have a real number. We're only looking for answers across across the reals. So um, what we can do here now is we can say uh, no solution. So and, and and we really mean no real solution. So make sure you're not trying to take the natural log or or log of any kind of a of a negative number on these types of problems. If you do, hit it with a with a no real solution. So this next problem, e to the power of 3 minus 2x equals 4. So I think first thing that I'm going to try to do here is uh, undo this e. So I'll natural log. Natural log of 4 is 3 minus 2x. Keep solving to get x all alone. So uh, subtract 3 from both sides. And I have natural log of 4 uh, minus 3. Some people might write it as negative 3 plus natural log of 4 just to just to be clear that the, the subtracting 3 is not in, included in the natural log. Negative 2x, uh, then that's going to get divided by a negative 2. So x would be uh, negative 3 plus natural log of 4 over 2. And put that in your calculator and get your, get your rounding. All right, this next type of problem, these, these next two problems are of a certain type. And what I mean by that is... Um, I'm going to give you special technique for them. And what I what I want you to notice is they're they're not quadratics, but they're in what what I would call a quadratic form. So, for example, um, I have these e to the x's here, and basically I have um, this is e to the two x, so it's e to the x squared minus two e to the x minus eight equals zero. So it's not a quadratic, but it's in a quadratic form. I have something squared, a variable squared, and then I have minus 2 times the variable minus 8. So I'm going to do a quick little uh, a quick little sleight of hand here. I'm going to do a substitution. I'm going to say a equals e to, e to the x, and a is going to be a placeholder for me. 
So I'm going to replace those e to the x's with a. So I have a squared minus 2a minus 8 equals 0. And now um, I know how to solve that. I can solve that by factoring a minus 4 times a plus 2 is 0. a is 4 or negative 2. But I'm not looking for a. I'm looking for x. So the thing that I know then is that a is, is e to the x. So e to the x equals 4 and e to the x equals negative 2. And now to get those answers, I can use natural log. So uh, x would be natural log of 4. And I'm going to have natural log of negative 2 as well, which is going to give me a non-real answer. So natural log of 4, might as well go ahead and do that one on my calculator. Uh, natural log of 4, about 1.386. And now if I wanted to check my answer, um, this is this is great. I have my calculator and I can I can do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shove that into x. So x is equal to what I think the solution is. And then I know that my original question was e to the 2x, close off the parentheses, uh, minus 2 times e to the x minus 8. And that should be 0. Yeah, it works. Great. So I'm good. And notice how I could check my solution. The next problem is very similar, but instead of, uh, it's still a quadratic form, but instead of e, it's, uh, it's a 3x. So I'm going to let a equal 3. Uh, it should be 3 to the x. I'm going to fix that problem real quick. <laughs> So that means that I could rewrite this as, uh, I could replace any 3 to the x with an a. And so I have a squared minus 5a plus 6 equals 0. Uh, let's see, I can solve that by factoring. Um, a minus 3 times a minus 2. So a is 2 or 3. But I'm not looking for a, I'm looking for x. So 3 to the x is equal to 2. And 3 to the x is all equal to 3. So that means that x would be, well, log base 3 of 2, log base 3 of 3. I know this is 1. And then this other one I can use change of base in my calculator to get. I'm going to go natural log of 2 divided by natural log of 3. About 0 0.601. I'll go about 0 0.6309. So now we'll uh, go the other way. We'll do a couple that we'll solve some natural log problems. All right. So uh, we have natural log, log base 2, and a log base 10, a common log here. So natural log of something is equal to 8. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite it. Remember, natural log is like log base e. Log base e. So if this is a log statement, the equivalent uh, exponential statement would be e to the 8th equals x. Okay, so e to the x equals 8, so I'm sorry, e to the 8. e to the 8 looks like about 2980.95 uh, 2980.958 and I could check it, right, because it was a uh, natural log because it was natural log of that should give me 8. It sure does. All right, next one. Uh, log base 2 of this thing is equal to 5. So I'll rewrite it as an exponential statement. Uh, 2 to the 5th is, uh, whoops, it's 25 minus 2x. 25 minus 2x. 2 to the 5th, I could do that in my calculator, or I could do it in my hand. 2, 4, 8, 6, and 32. 32 is equal to 25 minus 2x. Um, subtract 25 from both sides. And what's that? 7. Divide by negative 2. And x should be about negative 7 halves. Not about exactly. Next example. Uh, solve this one out. I'm going to subtract the 4 from both sides. First thing. So 3 times log of 2x is equal to uh, 12. 
Next thing I'll do is divide by that three. So log, that's base 10, of 2x is equal to 4. Now I could rewrite it. This is a, a log base 10, common log. So 10 to the 4th is 2x. 10 to the 4th, you can do it on my calculator. I would know it's a 1 with 4 zeros behind it. Divide by 2. That's supposed to be a 2. And x would be 5,000. A couple more examples. Um, notice on both of these, we've got lo multiple log statements. We've got like log of this plus log of that. We've got log, log, log. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to take advantage of my condensing. I know that if I'm if I add separate log statements, that's the same as a single log statement with those things multiplied together. So x plus two times x minus one equals one. Uh, this is log. This is base ten. So I could rewrite this as 10 to the first power equals x plus 2 times x minus 1. And here, um, I'm going to have to multiply this out. So x times x is x squared. That's a 2x. That's a minus x. And that's a negative 2. So if I multiply that all the way out, I should have 10 equals x squared uh, plus x minus 2. Let me move that 10 over. So 0 equals x squared plus x minus 12. So now I have a quadratic to solve. And let's see, I could factor that to uh, x plus 4 times x minus 3. So x would equal negative 4 or 3. And that's all good, but, but I'm going to have to make sure that I'm not going log of a negative number. So for example, like if I take this, this 3 and plug it back in, That'd be log of 5 plus log of 2, no problem. But if I plug the negative 4 back into here, uh, notice I'd have like log of negative 5. I have to throw that out because um, going log of a negative number is going to give me an imaginary solution. This act of multiplying right in here masks some negative numbers, you know, because a negative times a negative is a positive. That's why we can get answers that actually aren't part of our uh, solution set. Hey, this next one is the same type of problem got this log of x squared plus 1. I can condense these ones. Two log statements is the same as a single log statement. x minus 2 times x plus 3. And let's see. So I have log of x squared plus 1 equals log of, and if I multiply this out, this would be x squared uh, plus x minus 6. And now this is great. Like log of this equals log of that. The log is the same function, like this and this. So basically, that has to equal that. Like I can, I'm, I, I could basically like rewrite them both. Um, take ten to the power of both sides, and the logs cancel out. So now I have x squared plus one equals x squared plus x minus six. Well, let's subtract x squared from both sides. Let's add six to both sides. Looks like x is 7. If I plug that in, I wouldn't be taking a, a negative, a log of any negative. So x must be 7. All right, one more like this. Um, I have two log statements. They're both base 2, and it's subtraction. So if I condense these down to a single log statement, I know that that becomes division. So I've got this. So I condensed it. Now I can rewrite it, uh, 2 to the 3rd. So 2 to the 3rd power equals this thing. 2 to the 3rd is 2, 4, 8. So that's an 8. Okay, I'm uh, going to solve this. Um, I have this 2x minus 3 in the denominator here. I'm going to multiply both sides by it to get it out of the denominator. And notice on the right-hand side it divides out to a 1. So it's basically gone from that side. Um, I can distribute this 8 into here, 16x minus uh, 24, 15x minus 1. Nice, subtract 15x from both sides. I get x minus 24 equals negative 1. Add 24. It looks like I have x is equal to 23. All right. Hey, give these a uh, good practice. Try those uh, those problems from the problem set and message me.